Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. How are you doing, Gemini? I hope you're doing amazing. I uh, want to let you guys know if you guys are trying to get private consultations, now is the time to reach out to my email as we are now uh, available and we are booking for the month of March and going into April. We do quickly book you guys, so uh, if you're trying to get that uh, appointment, definitely uh, email. Um, don't wait it out and wait, wait last minute as I do get clients uh, that book months in advance only because our seating um, is uh, limited, okay? So just letting you guys know. All right, my lovelies, let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance for the month remaining of February 2021. Let's see what's going on with you, Geminis. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I know we're a little bit behind on these readings. Okay, so we have the first card that popped out here. You have the two of pentacles, trying to make a decision, Gemini. For some of you guys, having the need for balance. For some, could be choices. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so for some of you, Geminis, I feel that you may be um, on the fence about two different people. You may be talking to di two different individuals. Uh, for others of you, it's almost like there is a need for balance. There is a need for, um, for stillness is what they're saying. Uh, it could be that for some of you guys, you've been single for quite a while and you're going to start getting traction. You're going to start getting movement in regards to love, in regards to passion, in regards to what's been lacking uh, for quite a while. And you may feel like there is a need to make a decision or some type of choice. What they're telling you here is no, no, no. Take your time in getting to know these people, okay? These people that are coming in. The Two of Pentacles often feels like you have to make a choice. But with the Six of Swords, you're definitely going towards calmer waters, towards stability. Uh, water is always emotions. So you're definitely going towards stable emotions. For some of you guys, this could represent um, two people. You have the Two of Wands here. For others of you, this could represent um, dealing with fire energy or earth energy here. Uh, fire would be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I also see six, six of swords here, so air is there as well. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be hearing from someone that is either from a distance. Perhaps some of you guys are in communication or dealing with someone that is from afar. They're not uh, local or uh, distance may be involved here. Okay, and we have the Three of Pentacles here. The Three of Pentacles representing the energies of the person of your interest. Three of Pentacles could represent that they're very busy, uh, perhaps a little bit detached because there is something that uh, is really got their attention. They could be working on some type of project. They could be taking on more responsibilities at work. Um, I feel that you often question uh what this person feels or how they feel towards you. Um, with the Three of Pentacles, though, this is a person that is very busy. I feel that uh, they may be dealing with uh, wanting to achieve or wanting to grow within their company, within their business, within their field. Um, and they're taking on more responsibilities that perhaps they should or more responsibilities than they can actually handle. Now, the next card here is the Princess of Cups. So they definitely do have emotions towards you, Gemini. They are definitely interested in you. Um, there are emotions here. I feel that this is a person that is more analytical. This is a person that analyzes uh, before they move forward in a connection or in a relationship. It's like they want to see or get to know more of you uh, in order for them to determine if they are willing to invest that's what i'm hearing like they don't see relationships as um let me get to know them and then see where it goes no to them it's like i need to make sure that i want to invest time to them time is precious time is money is what i'm hearing so you're definitely dealing with someone that is very mature gemini if you're currently single this is a person that's coming towards you 
This is a person that is very goal oriented, a person that perhaps is at the uh, beginning stages of their career pursuit. They're very focused. Like I said, um, this is mature energy for some of you guys. This could signify a person uh, that could be from three to six years older than you or vice versa. It is a general reading. It could be that they are four or six years younger than you. Um, but I definitely do see them emotionally available. I do see them open uh, open in regards to their interest for you. And we have the wheel of the year here. So I definitely feel that for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, you're going to be feeling like you're having options. You're going to feel like there is momentum here. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be a water energy that's coming in, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. For others of you, it could be that you will be dealing with this water type of energy. However, you may be hearing from someone from the past. We have the wheel here and the six of swords. You moved on from something. Uh, and I feel that with the two of wands, there's some type of communication that comes in. And it could be unexpected. It could be the reason why you feel like you have to make a choice. My advice is always be practical in your decision making. So when I say practical is if you're dealing with someone from the past that has let you down more than twice, do not entertain that energy. Give the energy to the person that has yet to fail you. Uh, why? Because we get stuck. With the five of pentacles, this is someone walked away from some type of connection, some type of relationship. Um, walking away left someone else in the cold. Uh, perhaps you, Gemini, feeling a bit um, not understanding what was the reason why they walked away or not understanding fully why they made the decision that they made. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles here, this is very contrast to the lack. Do you see what I'm saying? So in the past, there was lack. In the past, there was no stability whatsoever. What's unfolding is the Ten of Pentacles, the promise for something long-term, the promise for a commitment. This is happiness. This is the, you know, getting to the point of feeling emotionally fulfilled. So again, if you're dealing with two different energies, someone from the past, do not entertain that energy. It's time to cut the cord. It's time to walk away from what hasn't worked. And it's time for you to open up to new possibilities and new opportunities that are coming in for you, Geminis, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.